getting baited. Get the worms baited. What's up? We're in Springfield. We're live. We're fishing. Got the DJI mics on. We'll be testing those out. I keep, I've elbowed Molly four times during saying what's up to you guys. <laughs> How weird. What's going on, everybody? Woo! I'm just looking for feedback on there. At least the receiver's getting the audio. What's going on? We got somebody in the house. I'm going to wait for a few people and then we're going to give these mics to get a test to make sure they're working. We'll be catching some smaller fish today. There might be some random big fish. I've seen at least one or two bass in here. There's a bunch of fish near the bottom. I don't know what they are, but I don't think they're going to bite worms, whatever they are. Shad or something. I don't know what he is. You, you want to drop a worm near him, see what he wants to do? Don't get stuck on that rock, though. Drop it a few feet in front of him. Oh, like right in front of him. <laughs> scared him. That's why I said a few feet in front I know. of him. It's like, I'm going to drop a quarter ounce weight on this fish's head. <laughs> oh, why did it scare him away? Because <laughs> I got algae on it. I need it's more of a worm than that. What the heck is this? They're skinny worms. Those worms are babies. Jesse Lopez, what's going on? He said, good morning, beautiful. And Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, dude. Yeah, they're kind of sad. This is a sad thing of worms here. Hopefully my other thing of worms are doing better. Jesse, what's going on? Um... You know, I guess we could test out the mics now and make sure that they're working. So, we can yeah, hear these, are, working. these are nasty. Oh, these worms are nasty. That's really, really gross. That's really gross. Sounds good. Okay, Jesse, I'm, I'm going to do me a favor. I'm going to walk that way significantly to where you wouldn't be able to hear it without the mic and tell me if it still sounds okay coming from my end. So... I need you to let me know if you can still hear me just fine over here. Because these mics should work all the way at this distance over here without an issue. So I'm just going to keep walking away. I'm going to come back and check that in a second. But if the mics are working right, you should be able to hear every word I'm saying right now. Code word is pepperoni. Just type in pepperoni in the chat if you can hear me clearly all the way over here. Pepperoni. Let's see. I'm coming back now to see if it worked. See if the code word is in there. I'm hoping they work. Oh, they're all so tiny. Pineapple, oh no. <laughs> Hit the road, Jack. Don't come back. No mo mo mo. We got the great Molly. That's what Jesse Lopez said. He Aww. said pineapple. Pizza. Oh wait, that's my safe word. I met pepperoni. Okay, so they work. I was all the way over there and he still heard it. Appreciate it, Jesse. Thank you. Um, feel free to share it out, guys, if you want. You don't have to. Um, I don't know. I gotta check the battery on here. It looks like I have 82% battery. As of now, I have not figured out a way to use these microphones and charge my phone at the same time because the receiver actually goes into my C port where I charge my phone. Ate my worm. So, we'll catch some fish here for you guys. Well, you can grab another thing of worms if you want. <laughs> That's sad. We could, that, that could be our whatever, you know? Well, we should use them up. The one I had was squishy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to catch a fish right here. It's not going to be a big fish, but it's going to be a fish. Come on, come on now. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Lost him. Did you take my worm? No, I still got a bit of a worm on there. Here, I'll catch one here then. Oh, Where are we at, fishies? Playing with me. Where are we at, fishies? Oh, dude, there are mega dinks in here. Yeah. <laughs> They're so small, we should've got smaller hooks. They're not very active either. I don't know if it's because it's been so hot lately. They're just barely pecking at it. Why are they so small? <laughs> There's normally more decent sized fish in here. All right. I'm gonna get out of thing of different worms because those ones are awful. <laughs> this is like an unopened thing of worms. Oh, the algae. They're still a little squishy, still a little gross. Yeah, I bought these worms the other day and I sat at the spillway in like 90 something degree weather. And they never recovered. They're a little bit nasty. Who all's in here? Four thumbs up, four people. Snake River, what's going on? Apparently my mics are working, which is awesome. We got Ted in here. What's going on, buddy? So big shout out to Off Hook Outdoors, my man Ted, and then Jason from JJ Drones. They were so kind to send uh, me these DJI mics that I really had my, my eyes set on. And so they are not cheap microphones, but they're awesome. They'll allow for better quality mics. He's so tiny. You got a beautiful, looks like a long ear. Oh yeah, show everyone your fish. Molly's got a fish. But they'll allow for better audio. Aww. I could literally be 
100 yards away from here and you guys could probably still hear me if it, if it gets really windy out here and it would normally sound bad it will still sound fine with these dead cats um so it allows me to fish in places that are real windy at a spillway things like that and i can have a second person mic'd up so it's gonna help with my videos and my live streams molly's got teeny a gorgeous baby. little dink right there that is a long ear sunfish nice job first blood for molly <laughs> They make a splitter for your ports. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll try something out. Me and Ted were looking at things, but I don't want one that dangles because it'll probably fall out because the uh, thing's kind of heavy. And then I'll have to take, I think to get a splitter, I probably have to take my case off my phone. I'll look into some and see what I can get. Uh, but thanks, Bullets and Barbecue. I'll, I'll, I'll try something like that. Ted said, hey, Molly. Hi, Ted. Oh, that's your, that's your rod. <laughs> but yeah, I saw a couple bass, and there are some bigger fish in here. I don't know what the heck they are. Sucker fish and weird stuff like that. So we'll catch some dinks and stuff. At this point, I'm only going to be able to go live until my phone's about to die. But by that time, I mean, it's kind of hot out here. Molly's going to want lunch anyway, so. They're biting. There we go. Oh, no. That's crazy. I don't know what's going on. It feels school. weird. Look at all of them. Oh gosh. I was like, it feels weird. Look at what I did. Whoa. How'd yeah, you that's do that? that's ruined. How'd you do that? I don't I it's ruined. Oh my gosh. I was like, that feels weird. I gotta give you that right. Oh dude, guys, look at this. That is miserably awful. I don't understand how that happened. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, I might be done for the day. <laughs> this rod might be finished. I don't really understand what's going on. How did that even happen? This so in. confused right now. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, I don't know. I, it wasn't even attached. What? I'm so confused. Oh, I'm so confused right now, guys. Let me get this out of here. I don't want to leave my rig down in there. That's a lot of freaking stuff. There's a fish on there too. I'm handlining a monster here, guys. Handlining a monster. Oh, he went right into the nasty algae too. Oh Lord. Okay, so <laughs> started off with a bang here. We got a hybrid green sunfish bluegill. Nice looking little fish right there, covered in slime and stuff. Um, Molly's got a green sunfish, so honestly we've got three different types of sunfish so far. She got a long ear and a green sunfish. I've got this green sunfish bluegill hybrid. But because I obviously was dealing with other stuff on my rod, I couldn't feel the bite, so this fish freaking swallowed it, which sucks. So bear with me. I've got slime on me. I've got notifications all over my phone screen, so I can't even see the chat or what I look like. I have a horrible like tangled that. mess on my rod. <laughs> A little bit of everything that can possibly happen right now is happening. So, what do we got? Three fish so far? And snag. And Molly's snagged, so this is going really well. <laughs> this is going super well. There we go. I'm good. We've been looking into splitters, but nothing yet. Must feed Molly. No one wants to deal with the hangry Molly. You have no idea. Hey. You have no idea. What's up, Carl? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> I got Appreciate a smoothie. Appreciate you coming in. So, I should be okay for a little bit. This is a mess. This is a hor horrid mess. Okay. Well guys, we've caught a couple fish and my mic's worked so I'm happy, but I've got about, I don't know, 60 yards of line out here that is just in a giant tangled mess. So let me deal with that while Molly catches some fish for you guys. Say hi to everyone, Molly. They Hello can, everyone. They can hear you through your mic too, so. I know. How's it going? Look at this, guys. <laughs> just a huge tangled mess right here. <laughs> I hope I'm not wrapping it too tight around my hand. <laughs> I won't be able to get it off. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of line. Okay, look at that. If that ever happens to you guys when you're here, I know you guys wouldn't do this because you guys are awesome, but definitely throw that away and don't. <laughs> don't leave a bunch of line hanging out. That gives fishermen a bad name, and obviously it's just terrible for the environment. Show them what you got, Molly. 
Is it a meanie greenie? It is. Oh, he's got a nice green sunfish. Feisty. Fe a feisty <laughs> one, apparently. <laughs> hey there. So we are in Springfield, Missouri. I can't check the chat right now because I'm messing with this, but Molly will Molly will look at it and tell me what people are saying periodically as she How's catches fish. How's the fishing fish. going? This chill in Indiana. Carl asked how the fishing's going? Yep. Well, Molly's caught three. I've caught one. Mostly just testing the mics out and stuff. So we'll be catching some fish until my phone's about to die. Ted but, said to fix that for you. Ted said, yeah, you owe me after all the tangles I've fixed hey. for you and all the times I've gotten you unsnagged. I'm just kidding. Oh, but yeah, I mean, I I got some type of terrible tangle. I don't really even know how it happened. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to go back to the drawing board on this one, guys. That it's We're still all messed up. So Molly will catch fish, and I'll make a fool of myself. That's kind of going to be the goal today. Wow, I really can't believe that that even happened in the first place, and two, that I'm not able to actually fix it. I just literally can't get it fixed. <laughs> so much line is out right now. Okay. I did the thing where when you, you break off and lose a bunch of line, and you try to re-spool it, but you forget to put the line under the bale so it's actually going where it needs to go and feeding right. And so it was just pulling off the spool. Molly's slamming them over here. Oh, dudes. She's hoping to catch a creek chub. That's her goal today, right, Molly? Always my goal. <laughs> <laughs> She's catching a ton of green sunfish. Ah, what is on me? Some type of bug or something. All right, but I'm getting it fixed. Molly's just going to keep entertaining you guys with fish. Hopefully. Timber, or, timber, or, drop, timber, <laughs> or drop the fish on the ground. He's so jumpy. Here he is. He's going right back in. So what have you caught so far, Molly? A long ear and like three green. Three green sunfish and a long ear. And I've got a hybrid bluegill green sunfish. Oh no. Not yet. Not this time. I caught a big... Does that count? <laughs> Do you know where my rig is at all? Any idea? Right there. Okay. She's got the the young eyes. <laughs> I'm getting old. I can't see anything. But yeah, let us know how the audio sounds. Ted said it sounded good. Um, first time trying out these DJI mics. Big shout out to Off the Hook Outdoors and JJ Drones for sending those to me. I'll make sure to use them plenty. I felt bad because they sent them to me and I haven't had a chance literally in the last month or so since they sent them to me to use them. And this is our first time actually using them. So we wanted to go to a spillway and catch some bigger fish, but last time I went there, it was overgrown. The place I normally cast, there's a tree that came up overnight, so I can't cast out there. There is, and I'm not joking about that, it literally happened. And a uh, bunch of poison ivy out there. And it's been hot. Last time I went there, I caught nothing but dinks anyway, which is pretty much all we'll get here. Dink -a -dink -a -dinks. I'm always just slamming them over here while I'm struggling to survive. But let us know how it sounds and then uh it's actually uh, it's not super windy but there is some wind today and so let us know if you can hear any wind noise at all bernadette how's it going let's see ted's mom said hello molly and sunfish Aww. michael tiger minnesota bass and 13 from fish brain checking in dropping a like and showing some love appreciate it look we got a beautiful little sunfish here so the fishing won't be necessarily too exciting today unless we catch something crazy that we're not sure is in there. I mean, we can see most of what's in there. There's some big sucker fish and stuff right in here, but they don't seem to be going for worms. It's weird. Um, but we'll definitely be catching a bunch of dinks, and then my phone will die eventually, and I can't charge it while I have these microphones running. But the main reason today was to test out the mics and make sure they work, which I'm super excited, super happy that they're working. So we'll catch a few little dinks on here, and we'll hang out for, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half until my phone dies. It, it might not even last much more than an hour. It's it dropped ten percent since we started already. The mics are working good. Thank you so much. Crisp sound quality with minimal background noise. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Thanks for the feedback. Fishing time. Let's go. Said hey, Sunfish King. Is Molly out fishing you again? Always. That's Ted's dad. <laughs> yo yo at work dinking around. <laughs> Michael. Tiger with the $3 boom, boom, boom. We got a boom, Molly. Boom, boom, ding, ding, 
Thank you, Michael. We appreciate that. Appreciate the support. Literally, all that goes back to the channel. I do a bunch of giveaways, and obviously, it's expensive to buy some of this gear and stuff like that. So, I really do appreciate that. Uh, if you guys have a fish brain, check out Minnesota Bassing uh, 13. I think that's MN is Minnesota. I think that's why it's MN. Or Bass Assassin. Sorry, I said that wrong. Minnesota Bass Assassin 13 from Fish Brain. Make sure to check them out. Appreciate you. That's awesome. If I had my bell, I'd be ringing it. Big Mike, what's going on? Just catching, uh, Catching some dinks out here and testing out my mics. It is the DJI wireless microphones. Maybe Ted knows more about what they're actually called, but DJI is the brand. There's two of them. They got these dead cats. They're great for like wind noise and fishing if there's like a spillway in the background or a heavy like river flow to where it's a lot of noise. Molly's got one on too. So if even she talks really quiet, say something. Oh. Hopefully you guys heard that. <laughs> but I tested it out at the beginning. I walked up that hill. And I said, the code word is pepperoni. And I said it quiet, and I was all the way up here. And I came back to the chat, and someone said pepperoni. So I was like, all right, that's how I know that they're actually working. But, yeah, Ted from Off Hook Outdoors and Jason from JJ Drones totally surprised me and bought these for me. You can check out the video on my channel of me opening my mail. Ted told me he was sending me a bunch of baits and stuff. And I was like, okay, awesome. I opened it up. It was not baits inside. <laughs> Thanks for the shout-out. No problem, Michael. Appreciate the super chat, man. Thank you. Kelly Outdoors, welcome in. All right, time for me to catch a couple fish and not get horribly tangled. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened. I really don't. I think my finger must have caught the line and it just started feeding out. I might try a bobber. I never fish down here with a bobber, but the bottom is covered in algae right now, which is weird. It's normally not like this. It's normally like a rocky bottom without much algae or anything. Stop the bait. He's watching. Oh, never mind. I thought that big fish was going for it. I'm not even moving it. It's just cotton. <laughs> it's moving itself. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, I might have to put a bobber on. Where there's a ton of fish over there. But I'm just getting in the algae every single time. There we go. That is a mega dink. <laughs> Did I get another hybrid? Oh my goodness got two fish they've both been green sunfish bluegill hybrids look at that guy both of them just the markings on there and the fact that the mouth isn't quite as big it's like right in between the green sunfish have a really big mouth so they just have a little different markings on there and he doesn't have the like crazy blue pattern that the pure green sunfish do on the face so nice little hybrid right there cool they have all different types of colors on their fins sometimes the green sunfish and the hybrids both this guy's got some yellow and some orange on there. But you'll see red, you'll see white, you'll see all types of crazy colors on the fins, so. Molly's still out fishing me, but at least I'm catching a couple. <laughs> Sorry, I've not been able to join other live streams. You're good, I've been crazy busy too lately. It is the DJI wireless mic, the Sunfish King edition. That's what Ted said, that's funny. Aww. I'm at my house with one arm. My daughter and son are at my sister's. I'm all alone. Well, at least you got us here to keep you company, Ted. Hopefully. He said he was in a bunch of pain the other day, man. Hopefully you can get that pain figured out. I know he just dealt with the surgery and it doesn't sound fun at all. So I thought you had one. No, I got slime. Earl's in here. Nice, huge fish. <laughs> Thanks, me forever. That's that's my PB. Probably biggest fish I've ever caught. And I'm trying to, there are some fish in here. I'm trying to sight fish. But the problem is the bait just falls down to the bottom and there's a bunch of uh, algae down there. So I might have to put a bobber on at some point. Are they not, they normally slam right over there in those rocks. Are they not hitting anything not over really. there? If you get your bait in, I'll try one cast over there. And they also usually hit right up against that wall right there. That's where I caught that goldfish. I caught a big old goldfish here one day, it was crazy. Haven't seen them here since then. Nope. You haven't fished this place in a while and it's totally different. I had a fish on for a second. 
But normally you, you cast against this wall over here and it's a bite like every single time. But also, last few times I've been here, there was no clarity. I can literally see straight down to the bottom. There's about 200 golf balls in here. And if you guys watch long enough, you might get to see me get knocked out by a golf ball because there's a driving range right there and there's this huge net that's literally, what would you say that is, Molly? 30, 30 or so feet tall, mm -hmm. something like that. Somehow they still knock it over that thing and I've had golf balls come within inches of hitting my face out here. So, which is dumb because this is literally a walking trail and people come here with their little kids and babies and strollers and stuff and you got golf balls raining down everywhere and not a single time I've had golf balls fly by my head. I haven't a single time have had have not had a uh, golfer yell and say four or say watch your head or anything like that. Literally, it's like they don't care or it's like some game they want. They're trying really to hit you. That's really far away. So maybe we can't even. Oh, go. I think I broke off. Yep, fish pulled me into a snag and I broke off. Well, Molly, you're gonna have to keep catching fish for people because I'm screwing up today. If you get a chance, check the chat and see what anyone is saying. Please and thank you. Dang, man, I'm screwing this up. Goodness, man. Kelly Outdoors is doing a high school bass fishing tournament soon. Ooh. What do you say? Uh, they're doing a high school bass fishing tournament. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I've got a couple little, uh, like, basically panfish or whatever competitions coming up that I'm going to be in entering in on YouTube and other people's channels. I've got uh, two and they're both next weekend. But at some point in August, I wanna try to host a YouTube bass tournament. I don't think I'm gonna do it like I did last time. I think I'm gonna do a live one. Um, that way there's no question about, you know, if people are weighing it right or measuring it right. We'll do it live like JV Outdoors did. And I'll have like, I don't know, eight or nine people on panel. I'll just be sitting at home and I'll run the thing. I'll go to my parents' house where the internet's a little better. Sounds like Molly's snagged. I can see it too. She's snagged. It's on the tip of this rock. Have you not learned by every single time I've casted over there, I've gotten snagged? No, I guess not. Every single time I've casted over there, I've gotten snagged and had to walk out there and deal with it. So now, we're <laughs> this is not a very entertaining show, is it? Or maybe it's more entertaining. I don't know. What's your guys' opinion on it? We were both literally struggling today, and I gotta stop using my teeth to cut the line. I'm gonna break my dang teeth. I know, Big Mike, I know you do it with like a 20 pound line. You're crazy, man. I don't know how you haven't broken a tooth yet. I hope I have enough hooks and everything. Apparently, we're gonna be breaking off like crazy out here. Let's see what everyone says before I get rigged back up and get another bait on. 11 people in here, 17 thumbs up. The pain's better today. That's good to hear. Just dropped a promo for you on Fish Brain. Hopefully more folks will show up and pump these numbers up. Sweet, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, when I have time to like announce I'm going live beforehand and, and share it on social media, I'll get a lot more people in here. Molly is struggling over there. I can you can see walk it. in. It's on the tip of that rock. Yeah, that's two inches of water. You can walk in there. I don't want to. Because then my shoes are wet. I yeah, but I have socks. I only brought one pair of shoes. I have socks, so I'm not going out there. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, she's struggling. I'm gonna have to help her do something, I don't know. High school bass fishing tournament soon. This will be my first year doing it. First tournament September. I don't know if we're gonna get to the point where um, my phone actually dies, because it might overheat before that. It's starting to feel really hot. First place usually gets around five to $700. That's awesome. You wanna record me going in water? <laughs> I'm always going in, guys. Hold on. Appreciate everyone sharing it out. Oh, I wish I was recording that. Are you okay? She took a absolute humble. Are you all right? Yeah. Don't get my, please, for the love of God, do not get that mic wet. I know, I'm going back. Take the mic off if you have to. Do you need help? Uh... Dude, I wish I was, as bad as it is, I wish I was recording that because she took a tum She took one step in and did a Joe Pesci from Home Alone. Don't record me. Don't record you. You said you want to aim it over here. Okay. You want to take my mic off? Are you going back or are you giving up? I'm giving up. Okay, she's giving up. She's just going to break off. Are you all right? I'm all wet. I hope all wet's the worst because it looked like you broke your tailbone. Okay. Come here. What am I supposed to do about that? 
I'm not going in there. My feet are, I have socks on. It's too slippery. Is it? Yeah. All right, come record me then. Come record me and I'll go in there. You're going to do the same thing. What happened here? I won't do the same thing. There's a lot of algae in there. At least my shoes aren't wet. I took them Carl's off. Carl's laughing. What's up, Basquatch? <laughs> Kelly said it's starting to glitch a little. That's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Ted said, are you okay? No, I'm so not. So what's starting to glitch? Is it the audio, the video? <laughs> what is it? Please be careful. All right, come record me and I'll go in. And I'll try to, not to get my mic wet. Here you go. Okay. You want to come aim it at me while I go get this done? <laughs> My foot hurts. Eh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, I'm all like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just read the comments and I'll go in and. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, she <Virginia> is okay. <laughs> Dude, I really wish, as bad as it sounds, the heck is going on today? <laughs> Goodness. Jeez, <laughs> madness out here. I don't know what's happening, Molly. But, uh, oh, Dad, that looks super slippery in there. That looks, everything is slippery. <laughs> yeah. You're not recording me going in in case I fall. I'm making sure there weren't any water on my thing. But anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, it's literally on the. I know. Are you kidding me? You didn't even have to go in. You I didn't, you didn't try it. lifting it up? <laughs> <laughs> I loosened it. Hey. You know, we're good now, and that's all that matters, right? I'm going to try to catch a fish from here. Says, do a flip. <laughs> I'm not doing anything with this microphone on. Oh, there's a really nice looking uh, long ear right there. That was a, that was probably the worst cast I've ever taken in my life. Butt's wet. That was probably the worst cast that's ever. Well, it has become the wet end of all jokes today. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, there's a couple of these sunfish in there. Come on. What sucks is this water's so clear, man. Like, I cast... And the fish just, they get so scared when they see me cast. All right, here we go, here we my go, here we go. My hair's wet, oh God. Oh, dude, they're just so scared of it. There's a little dink on there, he, he, he's not gonna get hooked. This long ear is driving me crazy because he, he, he's doing drive-bys, he just keeps coming in here. And he'll, as soon as he sees the worms, he gets spooked. Oh, what a dummy. All right, I'm done with that long ear. I'm gonna try to cast over there and then I'm coming back up after, after this. Well, Dusty says, hello, Molly and Sunny. Be careful, y'all, too. Dusty, what's going on? Be careful. You should have seen me fall. Oh, you, yeah. I don't know if you saw, but Molly, <laughs> she took a tumble. <laughs> Jesse said, Molly, don't lie. But that secretly felt good on this hot day. You know? Getting I don't like wet, getting wet, probably. <laughs> Breaking her tailbone and her, hurting her foot, probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh, this long ear is driving me nuts, I man. saw me went right up to it. I was like, nuts. Oh, no. It's like the trout at Roaring River. You see them come up and they sniff it and they're like, eh, no. Like, that's not the flavor of worms that I like. Get it, get it, get it, get it. He's going for it. Oh, did you see that? He came in and bit the line or something. He did that totally wrong. Come on. Okay, so this is what's annoying. All right, so these little fish that are too small to get hooked, they keep coming up trying to bite this worm. The long ear is protecting it. He keeps coming in like a bodyguard and he's like, get away from that worm, get away. But then he doesn't bite it himself. All right, let's try one last time. He's just chasing them away. <laughs> and it's like, they're not betting right now. He's not guarding a bet or anything. I don't know what he's doing. Eat the worm. Eat the worm. He's chasing all these little fish off, but he won't go for it himself. Asquatch says it sounds great, man. Cool. Someone said it was glitching a little. I don't know if it was audio or video or what, if you want to elaborate on that. That stuff drives me crazy, though, because for like... Forever, I would use StreamYard to go live, and every single time I would try to go live, it would be just horrible quality. Everyone would be like, oh, the audio is glitching. Oh, you sound like a robot. Oh, the video looks like, you know, terrible quality. I'm like, gosh, it would look like Minecraft out here. All right, well, I'm uh, coming back up. Says, Howdy, SFK. I'm coming back up. Say hi to DC Outdoors. DC, what's going on? Molly, you missed it. Molly took a tumble out here trying to get her her uh, thing unstuck. I had socks on. I had to take off my socks and shoes to come out here. And I didn't take one step in the water. I just lifted the rod up and it came unsnagged. I was You're like, taller you didn't, than me. You didn't think about higher. trying that? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. I know. But welcome in DC and everyone else. There's that. She didn't get my mic wet, so we should be good. 
Yeah, I was terrified Remember about getting that right and here. my phone. Is wet. that poop? Probably. Why is there poop? I don't know. <laughs> There's like poop smeared on this railing. It's disgusting. All right. I you don't have to aim it on me putting my socks on. You can turn it around and get back to Look fishing at those if you want. Feet. Dude, don't be weird. <laughs> Actually, that might get me more views. People are weird on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Like I told, I think, I don't know if it was Ted or Modog or who it was, I told someone that I was going to do a, a toenail clipping video. Ew. I was joking. But someone was like, you actually would probably get more views on that than any other video. Probably. People are weird, so you never know. I'm drinking some of your smoothie. You see how... Huh? Wet. <laughs> you want this thing? Yeah. You all right? I'm all wet. I know you're all wet. <laughs> I was worried you took a hard fall. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot more shenanigans than fishing going on today, but that's fine. <laughs> what sucks is I had just pulled a hook out too. And now you're barefoot, so be careful because I have no idea where it went. Maybe I didn't pull it out. Yeah, there were only three in here. I didn't pull it out. I was just about to pull one out when I watched you fall to your death. The closer I got, the more I saw why you fell. I mean, every rock in there is covered with, like, slippery fuzz. <laughs> I don't know why there's so much algae out here right now. It wasn't like this last summer, I don't think. Yeah, our worms are disgusting, man. If I knew this, I would have went to Walmart yesterday and got some new ones. These worms got all melted the other day last time I fished. All right, I'm going to check the chat, and I'm going to try to catch a couple more little dinks for you guys. Phone feels really hot. Probably going to overheat. I don't know how to do anything about that. 63%. So it's either going to die or overheat. Just a minor garble on the audio here and there a few seconds at a time. Ted, this is what... Ted, what did we do to fix that? Remember that was happened to you? I don't know. If I take out the mic... Hopefully Ted's in here. If I take out the mic and put it back in, or the, the receiver and put it back in, do you think that would fix it? Or will it not work after that? This happened to Ted uh, when he did when, one of the times when we were out fishing on his boat. Everyone kept saying that there was a little clip or something like that with the audio. Maybe push in the connection, take it out, plug it back in. I don't think it's the mic, maybe the connection. Hmm. Yeah, I took it out and put it back in. I remember, I don't think we could get it figured out ever in that one live, but then it was fine by the next live. So it's so weird. These things are great. These mics are great, and 99% of the time they work, but there's like a couple lives Ted's done too where it had the same issue every once in a while. I remember the one where you were out scouting. It was like that before we came down, and then one of the lives while we were there that weekend, it was, people were complaining about it too. The video's been perfect. Yeah, it's just an old Galaxy S10. And these mics, they sound, they sound good. They work far away. They completely block out almost all wind noise. They're great. But uh, apparently every once in a while there's a connection issue. I unplugged it and plugged it back in. Let me know if it's still still working and doing its thing. If it is, you guys should be able to hear me clearly all the way over here, and it shouldn't be sounding like it's getting any quieter. So I'm coming down here just to test it out. I'll try to catch a fish while I'm down here and then come back. It's crazy, when we got here, we saw a ton of sunfish everywhere. And then now that we're actually fishing, like, the fish are very inactive, they're not biting. Yeah, when I got here, there was literally hundreds of fish in this corner. And I don't know where any of them went, they all seem to be gone now. I just got a little nibble from something. It's just been hot, the fish, even the sunfish, like, everything is very, very inactive lately. The bite has been horrible lately. It really has. I've been so busy, I barely have gotten out. When I finally go out to go fishing, the bite has just really sucked lately, this heat, man. But I see a couple in that corner. I'll try to snag one of them. It's so weird. Usually you drop a worm in a pile of a bunch of sunfish and they go nuts for it. And right now, they're barely interested. I've got a nice long ear, though. I'll come show you guys that. Hopefully you all can hear me just fine out here. No more getting snagged, Molly. <laughs> You're going in if I do this. Time. Hello. All right, look at that. Beautiful long ear sunfish right there. So 
because he's not a, even fighting it. We've got a couple long ears. <laughs> Oh, he's got something. We've got some green sunfish. Yeah. We've got some hybrid sunfish. Not a single bluegill yet, though, huh? Uh -huh. I got a bluegill green or a couple of bluegill green sunfish hybrids. Not a single pure bluegill yet. But even though they're tiny, I can still lip them. So, little long ear right there. Show your fish. Oh, you shoved me out of the way. Get out of here. <laughs> little dude. Dinks. I mean, I've caught some nice sunfish and uh, bass and other stuff at this creek spot, but today seems like it's just a dink, dink, dinky day. Dinky day. It's clear, but a bit dink garbled day. again as you go away. Maybe it's Bluetooth or distance thing. I don't know. It's not a, well, I guess there is a wireless Bluetooth type connection between this and the uh, receiver. That's annoying. I don't know what to do. I feel, I know how you felt now, Ted. You 300 something dollar microphones and people are complaining about the audio. And I'm not saying anything about you guys complaining like stop complaining i definitely appreciate it because it lets us know you know it gives us some feedback but it's just annoying that that's happening with these expensive mics it's crazy kelly said i'm a robot now gosh dude it is still garbled yeah there's bluetooth ted how else would it how else would it connect to the receiver it's like a bluetooth type thing it's very irregular nice little dude there but i would Ted, I can't see your comment. I would do the download for it. It takes out the glitching. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'll have to look at my message from JJ Drones. He sent me a message. I never did that. So maybe that's what the issue is. There's an update, guys. So I apologize for the little messed up audio. Um, I am going to... Sorry, I keep getting notifications popping up on my screen. It's annoying. Um, I'm going to do the update some point this weekend, hopefully. So next time we go out with these things... Hopefully it'll fix that issue. Thanks, Ted. Good, good advice right there. That's awesome. I can't believe it. this spot is normally on fire. Everywhere I've been fishing lately, the bite has been so slow. And people always complain about the bite being slow or the bite sucking in the summer. I never had that issue until this year. Fished the last two summers. No, so we haven't been so hot and dry. Like, I know. I fished the last two summers like, and haven't had haven't had issues. I've been able to get on fish the whole time, but it's been real, real crappy here lately. I don't know what all those big fish are down there, but they don't want worms. I'm going to come down here with a cast net. Maybe I'll make a video or, or, or something, see what all I can pull out. Cause there's some really cool looking fish down there that I don't know what they eat. I don't know if they photosynthesize like plants do. I'm just joking. They obviously don't do that, but I, I don't see them go after a worm at all. And that wind is now scaring me that it's going to knock my tripod over. I can't have that. I I'll can't break. real close to I it. I can't break another phone. <laughs> Goodness, I just tripped Maybe too. Maybe if it falls We are I'll struggling today it. really bad. <laughs> it's a cartoon out here. It's so funny. I literally almost just tripped over my backpack. <laughs> yeah, normally it's every cast until you've pulled them all out of there right by this wall. Normally every cast gets a bite. Oh, I have one on too. Dang. That was where a fish took me into a snag last time though, so I gotta be careful. Man, that sucks, okay. And usually over in these rocks is good too, but you also run your risk of getting snagged. Yeah, very, very dead out here today. But my phone's either gonna overheat. My phone's, and I'm sorry for the weird audio, I don't know, we'll try to get that fixed somehow. She snagged again. My phone's either going to overheat or the battery's going to die. But until then... I'm a snag queen. I'll keep trying to catch fish. She's all snagged up. Yeah, and I'm straight out, oh, so I, I don't know fish how too. Dang. to get it off. <laughs> They're killing me. I don't understand what happened to the average size out here. Everything is tiny, like too small to even hook up with. You need me to try to help? I, yeah. No guarantees I can do anything for you. <laughs> Feel free to use my rod it's while I try to do like this. So. I'll check with the chat here in a second. Okay. Molly just keeps literally putting me to work out here. <laughs> it's my job. Do all right. the bow and arrow Again, trip. all right, all right. I'm, gonna, I'm being patient, Molly, but listen to me. Look, you've casted in the two places where I get snagged every single time I cast, and you've been out here with me before, so you know that. How many times have I casted? <laughs> we stand here, right? Every single time I've casted to the right over there, it's a snag. 
And every single time I cast in that shallow area there, it's a snag, okay? So just... Well, you told me to stay right here. I know, but what you always cast... Okay. Oh, just basically, I would just say don't cast anywhere to the right of straight out from this pole at all. Unless you're dropping it straight down. I'm going to break all... Yeah, it broke. You want to deal with tying it yourself, or you want me to tie it? I'll tie it myself. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't cast anywhere to the right of, like, straight out from this pole here, okay? Here you go. Yeah, I've literally gotten snagged yes, almost I know. every time. I've... You said it eight times. Do the bow and arrow trick. Yeah, I didn't even try that. I should have. I should have tried that. It works maybe one in every twelve times, but still, it's worth trying. <laughs> it works better with big, big baits on the end of your line instead of a tiny little hook with a worm like we're using. But if uh, if the bite was better and my phone was about to die, I'd just take these mics out and I'd plug it into a charging thing. But there's no reason to keep this live going after my phone gets to the point where it's dying because the bite sucks out here today. I mean, I've caught over 50 fish from this area in like an hour or two before. Today is just really slow. You need help finding anything or you got it all? I got it. Good? All right. It's just a lot of algae. Normally you can drop straight down like this and as it falls you can see it getting mobbed by fish. I've got a couple fish pecking at it right now and they're all they're all dinks, like absolute dinks. If I'm lucky one will be big enough to get the worm in its, or the hook in its mouth. Oh, I haven't seen a single fish big enough. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We haven't had rain in a while and everywhere I fish is like super low. This is actually high right now and I can't give you a good explanation why. It's it's only fed by a lake. So I don't know why it's the water level is high here. There are 10 million and three super dink sunfish biting this worm. Not a single one is getting the hook in its mouth. They're just grabbing it and dragging it around. So small. So small. I did a nine mile run yesterday in the morning and I got super roasted because I'm dumb and didn't put sunscreen on. And so I don't know if I'm getting burnt right now. I did put sunscreen on. Oh, there's a big snapping turtle. Molly, come here and see if you can see this. There's a big old snapping turtle in here. He's interested in something. I don't know if it's these fish or if it's my worm. That's a big snapping turtle. Wow. Nice big snapping turtle in here. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's painfully slow today. I'll try to get grab another one here, and then I'll come check on what you guys are saying in the chat. Hopefully, the audio is not too terribly bad. And I hope that update fix it because these things are way too expensive to have audio issues. There's very little interest in my worm with these sunfish out here. It's crazy. So much algae. It's Dang, man. It's been a really hot summer. I'm not surprised that everything's growing like that. Me and Molly have dropped bait down in this grate before here. I don't know how well you guys can see over there. We've dropped bait down in this grate before here and pulled out green sunfish through the little slats. But it doesn't look like anything's biting in there right now. That's when I'm like right after a rain when it's high. And the water will actually come above the grate. I don't think anything's in there right now. All right, let me make one more try. You need help? You have pliers? I don't have pliers, no. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> you need to look at the snapping turtle. He's a big boy. Here you go. I'll check the chat. 
I'll get a cast out just in case, and I'll check the chat. Hmm. Let's throw it out there in the middle and see what happens. Gonna just get covered in algae. Are you using size six? Do what? Six. I'm using size six. Yeah, you can try an eight if you want. Since it's all dinks out here. I'm gonna try an eight. What's up, Native Wild Man? How's it going? I'm at work. Cool, man. Cool. It's a. Uh, What's it, Friday? Yeah, I don't work Fridays. I actually don't work Thursdays either. Sometimes I have meetings on Thursday. But I really only work Monday through Wednesday. And then I'm supposed to work a few hours um, remotely outside. So I'll do that like on the weekends or I'll do that. Usually I do it after work on days that I work, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Where'd you catch the few that you caught? Just out there somewhere? Where I was, where you told me not to be. Oh, where you got snagged really well. Yeah, I just know that I, every single time I feel like I've cast it out over there, <laughs> I, I normally get snagged. Welcome in, Native Wild Men. We're testing out the new DJI mics. Apparently they sound good. They sound good from far away, but there's some audio issues. Um, and Ted said if I download the update, it should fix whatever kind of glitch that is. So I'm hoping that's accurate. Fishing's not going too well. Molly took a tumble, which hopefully she's okay. Got all wet, fell in the creek. Um, we've both gotten snagged. I've broken off a few times, so, and we're really not catching much. We've got a few little dinks and stuff. When I first got here, there was at least one decent bass swimming around, and I, I do have a rod with a Ned rig, like a, a Z-Man PB&J TRD Ned rig worm thing, and I dropped it in front of him, but he didn't go for it, which is weird, because the first few times I came out here, there was a ton of bass in here, and I was pulling them out left and right, just literally dropping the Ned Rig in front of their face. I wasn't even really casting it. I was just dropping it in front of them. But well, I thought it was going to be a good day because of how many fish I saw when I got here. And they seem to be, a, you know, decent sized sunfish. And now they've all dispersed. And every time I put a, a bait in, either nothing goes for it or what goes for it is an absolute dink of a sunfish. A lot of, like, mega dinks out here. So... Cannot see what I'm doing here. I'm getting bites, but again, they're just, they're absolute dinks. Absolute dinks out here. This spot is normally good. It's been pretty crappy today. Come on, you're big enough to get that hook in your mouth. No, you're not. The one who was going for it. I don't understand the hierarchy of these, these sunfish because... A big guy will be going for the bait, and the little guys always just come up and push the big guys out of the way and grab the bait, and they're too small to get hooked. It's like, you think the big guy would be like, yo, dude, I'm three times your size. Get out of here. I guess it's just whoever fa whoever's faster. Jeez, man. Why it sucks today. <laughs> That's not good. All right, Molly, you're going to have to catch some fish because I'm, I'm slacking out here. Okay. I'm half tempted to try worm and bobber because the algae is so bad on the bottom. But my, my concern is it's going to actually drive me insane with how many tiny little fish will be coming and hitting it. And I, I do have smaller hooks. I may put like a little size 10 hook on here or something and see what happens. See if I can dip it down and catch some of these little, little mega dinks. That may have to be what, that may have to be what happens here. We'll let Molly catch the, the slabs. <laughs> <laughs> Couple fish here. They're all so small. So impossibly small. And I'm covered in algae again. Jeez. Yeah, guys, I've got a, we've got size six hooks on right now. I there, Molly's slamming, size eight. slamming them again. But I might put on like a little, if I have a size 10 or something with me, I might put on one of them and a little tiny chunk of a worm. Because I'd probably be able to pull these guys out left and right if I had a smaller hook. What I really need is like a little size 12 hook. I don't think I have one of those with me though. Mm. Yeah, they're just driving me absolutely to 
my wits end over here. <laughs> Just killing this worm and none of them are getting it in their mouth. They're all is. so small. What is that, green sunfish? Mm-hmm. Dude, they're, yeah, they're killing this worm. None of them are getting hooked at all. What? He had it all the way in his mouth. Getting bites over there? No. Hmm. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to try a smaller hook. See what people are saying before I see if I have a smaller hook on me. I hope I do. Hey, Panama City, what's going on? Do you have a 10 inch plastic worm with lightweight? You have a 10 inch plastic worm with lightweight. That's what I'll fish for bass a lot of times in the summer. I usually fish it completely weightless, actually. But uh, there is there is one, possibly two bass in here right now. I mean, we can see. And uh, they weren't going for the Ned Rig. So if I threw a 10-inch plastic worm in here, I could fish a week straight and not catch anything. There's nothing that could bite that in here. I'll show you guys what we're doing. It's a tiny, tiny little, little spot right here. And then right there, it gets so small and so shallow that there's really not even any fishing. There are some awesome ponds back there, but pretty much all you can do out over there is maybe punching baits or uh, like a topwater frog that's weedless. Because I'm wipe out a biker with my shoes over there. Because it's they're Whoa. solid. It's a pond, but it is just He's solid huge. with algae top to bottom. Yeah, that's the snapping turtle. Holy cow! I don't know why I broke. The, I'm such an idiot, guys. Whoa. Really not going well today with the fishing. I just I just broke off my rig thinking that I had to, I don't even know. I'm trying to change the hook size and I have snelled hooks, so I really don't know why I clipped off the end right there. So my brain's clearly not working very well today. And I'm afraid to feel my phone because it's yet. probably it's melting hot right now. <laughs> yeah, there's big June bug and motor oil worms. Like the ribbon tail worms, seven inch, 10 inch, stuff like that. They work well in the summer, but not gonna be catching any bass out here. I have a lot of luck fishing flies when it's hard fishing. Yeah, I, uh, I don't have any flies with me, but that would probably work. There's been a ton of bugs on top of the surface. I haven't really seen them going for them, but there's a ton of bugs on top of the surface. That'd probably work pretty well. River boys at work when I'm stopping to say hi. Appreciate you stopping in. What's up, Bill? Put a small, piece of worm on the tip of the hook that's what I'm gonna do with uh, when I put a smaller hook on I'm basically gonna do that and try to get them to bite because this little size six is actually too big for the dinks that are in here which is so weird I normally come out here with this size six and I slay it but I haven't seen a single good size sunfish in here it's literally like all dinks today I don't, I don't really know maybe it's these big turtles in here have eaten all the fish I'm not sure there's a big snapping turtle in a tiny little hole here so very well could have eaten most of the decent fish out of here. Those are awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you were making fun of my socks. He's got George <laughs> Washington socks on. <laughs> he said this morning he thinks he's the only one that... Oh no. That one, so. I made that whole plan and everything and I don't think I have any small hooks with me. That's very unfortunate. Hold on, hold on. This bag might hold some treasures. Size six. I can't even see what size those are. Six. Size six. Size six. I had a whole bag of smaller hooks. There, size 10, sweet. Sweet. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try size 10 here. I'm gonna do what Native Wild Man said. You guys probably can't see through the water. We'll try it, but I doubt you guys can. Straight down here. You guys can see through it a little bit. I'm taking my sunglasses off. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, yeah, right there. You guys see that snapping turtle? I can't see it on the screen. Hopefully, you guys can see it somewhere in this area. Right there? Yeah, I see him now. He's moving that way. For a common snapping turtle, that's a pretty decent size. I've got bigger Fishy. out of my lake. Oh, Molly's got a fish. Switch this camera around. Yeah, my phone's getting hot. I don't think it's hot enough to overheat, but what you got? First pure bluegill of the day, I think. 
Nice. We've got bluegill. We've got green sunfish. We've got long ears. We've got hybrid green right sunfish and bluegills. Right. Don't forget your phone over there. Oh, that might be good. <laughs> when she went and took her, uh, took her swim, I'm going to call it. She left her phone just chilling out. Well, it got wet a little bit, and I was oh, worried. Right. I think your phone will be fine if it gets wet. It's my DJI mics that I don't think are waterproof at all. It didn't get very wet. So this is what we're going to, size 10. If I had a 12, I don't. I can't even see the screen. I really can't see the screen. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys can see that. Little size 10 hook, and we're going to put a little tip of a uh, little piece of worm on the tip. Hopefully I can catch some of these little dinks out here. I didn't come out here for the mega dinks, but that's all I'm finding. Your mom said, good morning, where are Miss Molly's shoes? Oh, it's a good thing you weren't in here earlier. Do you want to tell her what happened? I fell in the water. She got her hook stuck on a rock, and I'm like, it's two inches deep, just walk out there. Well, I don't realize, I see gray. I didn't realize that it's like a gray film of algae on all the uh, rocks out here. She took one step in the water, and she did the whole Joe Pesci thing from Home Alone. She went parallel with the ground and landed. <laughs> And I was like, are you okay? And I thought she'd be hurt, but she goes, I'm all wet. So she said she hurt her foot. Like, I'm not fine. hurt her foot, but she said it hurt. But I think being wet was the most of her worries. So. <laughs> She's good. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording at the time. I didn't have it aimed at her. So I got to turn around and see her sitting down in the water, but didn't get to see her tumble. <laughs> Fell in as it recorded. No, unfortunately, it's not. Um, I'll, I'll find it for you. I'll find the part that we did get recorded. But no, she said, she said, Turn the camera on me and watch me go in. And I said, okay. And before I could literally do anything, she bolts out there before I can even grab the <laughs> camera and does does something that would have been very entertaining on camera, although I was worried about her at first. But I wish she had waited a second to fall in, as bad as that sounds. She says she's okay. I'm not letting you go back in there, though, because of this big snapping turtle. You need all your toes. I know. Big old snapping turtle in here. But welcome in, Lee. Thanks for coming in. We're just testing out my mics. They're working okay, having a little bit of issues, but there's an update I need to download. So hopefully that'll fix it. Molly's catching way more fish than me, as always. Natural State, what's going on? Skull Rush, how's it going, buddy? <sighs> Try to catch some of these little dinks here. But yeah, like I said, Molly's tearing me up out here. And we need to leave the worms in the shade over here because they're already nasty. <laughs> Oh shoot, all the worms. <laughs> I should probably put your smoothie somewhere further from the dirt here. Probably, I want to sip. I lied, Whoa, you're, you're, gonna, so big. you're gonna actually finish it's it. It's a giant snapping turtle. It's Whoa. A, yeah, it's a common snapping turtle. Technically we're supposed to have common snapping turtles and alligator snapping turtles in Missouri, but the PhD at my school who studies uh, reptiles, he said he's never in his life seen a wild uh, alligator snapper in Missouri. They're supposed to be in like southeastern Missouri, but he said he's never seen one. I think most people just see the the big common snapper snapping turtles. They're like, it's an alligator snapping turtle, but I've never seen one either. Just big common snapping turtles. The woman always catch more, man. My wife schools me regularly. Oh yeah, she does. Not only does she catch more fish, she catches better fish. She has a Master Angler Award in Missouri for smallmouth. She got a four pound smallmouth on my birthday. I was like, how are you gonna do me like that? <laughs> on my birthday? <laughs> are there any fishies down here? Probably. Oh, here's a giant hook. Oh, there's a couple. Karen, the shore is laying on the sidewalk. No. You can put it, put it down there so it doesn't fall in the water. Just walking around barefoot and there's giant hooks on the ground. Well, somebody was bass fishing out here. So maybe there were some bass and they caught them. But then they, I mean, you would assume they'd release them. Well, I have these fish playing with my worm here and then Mr. Snapping Turtle is just having a, having a day over here just trying to prevent me from catching anything. He comes right in the school of fish and scares them all away. I don't know what he's doing. Trying to eat, I guess. Yeah, what's crazy is I switched to this size 10 still having the same issue they're just they're grabbing it and trying to swim away with it but they're not putting their mouth around the hook it is just mega mega dinks out here every once in a while you see a nicer fish swim by for some reason the bigger ones have absolutely zero interest in a worm which i never ever see with uh with sunfish i got a bluegill here 
but this is how how dinky they are and this spot is the spot is usually not like this i mean i've caught some really nice sunfish i've got some decent bass out of here all types of stuff someone caught a five pound carp out of here which is clearly not in here anymore i mean you can literally see to the bottom for most of this hole here but this is how dinky they are today this right here is one of the bigger ones that was just chasing my bait this is one of the bigger ones i was trying to get to bite the other ones are half his size so there's another i need hook. to come back out here with a really really tiny hook Some hooks on the ground like my micro oh, my micro fishing setup but i don't know i gotta find another spot around here to catch some fish Danimals was fishing in town at uh the lake and caught a catfish last night so it's a dink sunfish here and if my phone doesn't overheat we've got 45 percent batteries so i'll be live for another 25 minutes or so before it dies my phone battery dies quick <laughs> mine was bigger right guys <laughs> nice fishy cut more. oh you've definitely caught more <laughs> You've got more species. You've got better looking fish. Yeah, there's not very many long ears. I feel like normally it's like... No, normally I fishing. cast all along those rocks and the long ears come out and slam it. Yeah. And I don't know, they. where would they have gone though? Maybe the, maybe the snapping turtle's eating them all? I don't but know. But why just them? But he's not making the fishing very good. He's chilling right here where I'm trying to dunk my rod. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Driving me crazy. NKR, what's going on, buddy? The common snapping turtle gets bigger, I think. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Um, I know that they can get really big. I, I think that's. I don't think that's true at all. I think the. Um, I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure the alligator snapping turtle gets bigger. I know the average adult size of an alligator snapping turtle is bigger than common snapping turtle. I'll look it up later. Congrats on that master angler. That's cool. Natural state fishing said congrats on your big smallie you caught. Aww. She Thank also you. caught much better smallies than me out in Pennsylvania fishing with Ted. My phone is hot. It actually may overheat. There's no shade to put it in. Just been real busy. Probably going to go fishing today. Well, good luck, buddy. I don't know. What are you going to go target? Like bass and bluegills and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. I guess I should make this announcement. If anyone's interested, um, I, some of you guys have been following me for a while. Some of you guys are newer to the channel. We've done a lot of really good discussions, especially back in the day when I did the multi-species week with like sharp fishing and stuff we've done some really good discussions on different fishing techniques and stuff like that on my channel or just you know having fun talking about fishing and outdoors um and people come and ask questions about tech and stuff and if i can't help them someone in the chat usually can but i only go live once every tuesday from the apartment doing those types of things and sometimes i'm doing interviews sometimes i'm doing video reactions so um we can have some of those conversations but it's not like the deep in-depth discussions but i started a discord uh two days ago and I've been lazy. I need to post it around and, and invite people. But we've got, I don't know, a dozen or so people in there right now. Um, but that's going to be to ask questions, share your links, share your videos, meet, meet some people, grow your channel, and also just, uh, just have this type of fishing discussion and outdoors discussions that we have here so there's going to be channels in, like within that server, different groups within that server to talk about fishing, uh, outdoor activities of any kind, wildlife, hunting, all that good stuff. Um, and if anyone comes in and they're like, well, I think we should make a, a waterfowl hunting group in here for all the people that want to talk about that, just let me know and I'll be fine opening a group for people to have that type of discussion, you know? So I'm excited. It should be pretty cool. You can get in there and share your pictures, ask questions, share your knowledge with people and just have some cool discussions. And that'll be any day, any time you guys want to have those discussions. So, um, the Discord link, if you want the link, go look at my community tab. It's, I think, the very last thing I posted on my community tab has that Discord link. So you guys are all free to join if you want. I'm going to run it the same as I do my live stream. So don't come in and drop F-bombs or put anyone down. Not that I think any of you guys would, but basically those rules. We'll just try to keep it friendly and somewhat family friendly and talk about fishing and everything. SoFlow, what's going on? Yeah, SoFlow's in that Discord group. Thanks for coming in. Um, fishing, like I told you in the group yesterday, it's going real bad out here, really hot. They're just, they got locked jaw. We've caught a bunch of little tiny dink sunfish. I saw one or two bass swim by. They didn't even want the Ned rig, which they normally do out here. Um, but I don't know, a lot of the fish are not even here. There's normally a lot more fish in this little spot. There's a huge snapping turtle who may be the culprit. Um, or people have discovered that this spot is great for bait fish and they come in here and they pull them out to go use for bait because up until basically now, if I wanted bait, that's where I would have came is right here. Have a good afternoon, everyone, or have a good day, everyone. Thank you, Panama City. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming in and showing some support. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day. 
Yeah, so uh, so SoFlow's in that group. If you guys want to join that Discord group and have some discussions, just go to my community tab and click on the link there. Even if you don't have a Discord or you don't know anything about it, feel free to make one come in and try. And if you don't like it, you feel free to leave. You know, delete the app if you want. If you like it, then I'll you know I can answer any questions you guys have or anything like that. So hopefully the mics are working for the most part. I know someone said that the, it'll sound kind of robotic or glitch every once in a while, especially as I walk away. Which is not supposed to happen, but there's an update I haven't downloaded yet for the uh, for these mics. But basically, I've got a, I switched to a tiny little hook because all the fish in here are absolute dinks right now. At least it's all the ones I'm seeing. And so I'm gonna try to catch a few more before my phone dies. And uh, like Bullets and Barbecue said, I need to find some type of some type of port splitter for the port on my phone because right now the receiver for these mics. Is plugged into where I could charge my phone so I have no way of charging it unless I somehow hook up like a wireless charger or I somehow split that port to where I can charge and um, run these microphones at the same time so I'll try to get it figured out me and Ted we looked at a bunch of stuff and he even bought some one or two things I think and we haven't figured out anything yet that would let us charge our phones as we uh, run these mics so we're gonna try to get that figured out this snapping turtle just keeps coming everywhere that I'm fishing look Molly I don't know if he thinks I'm gonna feed him or what. He's literally staring at me like a dog. He's giving me the puppy dog eyes right now. <laughs> wow. I on the wrong foot. <laughs> Fishing's not going great, is it, Molly? We could have tried at the spillway. We'd probably have caught about the same amount of fish. I'm getting roasted though, honestly guys, like, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'm glad that my mics work somewhat, and I'm gonna have to test them again after the update, but my phone's, I told you to put this on the ground, and I just got it in my hand. What? I told you to put that hook on the ground, I stuck my hand in it. Don't do that. Luckily I got it out pretty good. We're about to go We're... to a week of 100 degree weather. What? It's going to get hotter? All right. Well, I might just, if Snake River's in here, I might just give up. I'm supposed to fish against Snake River on Backwoods Mindset's channel on uh, next Friday, so a week from today. I may just forfeit. I mean, I'll go out in there and fish, but he's going to win. I Nothing's biting right now, and it's going to get even hotter out here. So The bite sucks lately. Hot mess fishing. I recognize this spot, or it looks like anyway. I think this is where you and Molly caught that fish for me. It is. It is. And so you can attest, this used to be a good spot where we could just pull them out left and right. We are not catching barely anything today. I mean, Molly's caught probably eight or nine fish. I've probably caught three or four. Um, but I just did this to test out the microphones and stuff. But yeah, it's the bite. It's hot and the bite sucks right now. It's just really not good. Go with a good old hot dog. Yeah, maybe I will at, uh, at the lake. Maybe I'll go to the lake or the spillway and put a hot dog or something. Dan caught a, Dan caught a catfish at the lake last night on a pork, a piece of pork chop. <laughs> so, not something I would normally use as bait. Too delicious to use for bait in my opinion. Yeah, it was a good spot, but check this out, um, Alicia. Literally come out here to where I see a couple fish down there and I drop my bait right in front of them. And they're all too small to get the hook in their mouth, and I've got a size 10 hook on. And they're just barely dinking around. And when a bigger one does come, like a not even a big one, but just a slightly bigger one, every time they just swim right past it. They're not interested in this little piece of worm. It's so weird. So weird. Bite's just not great. Even the amazing Molly is struggling over there to get any fish. <laughs> Got something? No. Yeah, got algae. Algae? I saw your rod tip bending. I guess it was just the algae. Yeah. Yeah, you know it's not a good day of fishing if even, even the amazing Molly isn't pulling them out left and right. Exactly. Although she's done significantly better than me today. Oh, I thought I had one for a second. He was biting at the bait and the bait completely disappeared. I was like, oh, okay, it's in his mouth now. Dang it. They're all somehow able to bite it without getting the hook in their mouth. I don't really understand. It's a, it's a skill they have. Crazy. 
And when they do get the hook completely around their mouth, I go to set it and it comes right out. So we are struggling to say the least right now. Ton of fish down here. Can't catch one to save my life though. <laughs> so we'll be live for a little bit longer. I just wanted to test these mics out. Hope was really hoping that we'd catch some fish for you guys, but man, it is it is just hot and miserable out here, honestly. <laughs> and the bite's not too good. If it if it was hot, I thought you had one. Yeah. If it was hot and we were catching fish, I'd make it work. I'd stay out here for longer. But I'm touching, I'm touching a, a bluegill or something in the face with a worm, and he has, he's just sitting there, no, literally non-phased, no interest whatsoever. It's like uh, when you work outside on a hot day or something like that. Like yesterday, I went for a nine-mile run. Right afterwards, you know, I burnt almost 1,300 calories. You would think I'd be starving right afterwards, but the last thing I wanted to do was eat. Something about the heat just kills my appetite when I'm out there, and so I think it's the same for the fish. They're very, uh, very lethargic when it's hot like this. What's up, Brantley? What's going on? Fish for gar, they bite good when it's hot out if you have a spot. Yeah, that's a sore subject, actually. <laughs> that's a sore subject. I have... Um, there's some gar out here. I have a spot in Kansas City that you can go there and you can watch 30 gar swim by. It's just, there's gar everywhere. And uh, you can ask Molly. We went there a week or so ago. And I hooked up with 30, 20, 30 different gar. Didn't bring a single one in. They all came off the hook before I could bring them in. And it's the same method I used to use for gar. It's just not working anymore. So I'm going to have to talk to Sunfish Assassin on that. He's been catching a bunch of gar. Um, I don't know if his methods will work for me because he's catching long nose gar, I think, and he's catching much bigger ones. But I'll try it out there. I'll go out there. If, I don't know if he's using cut bait. I think he's using cut bait or something. I gotta find out what hook he's using and how he's doing it because the methods I used to use for gar, they used to work well. I used to bring in, you know, multiple gar every time I'd go out there. Even not fishing for gar, I'd bring them in. But the last, I've been out a couple times, so maybe the last 40 gar I've hooked up with, I've lost before getting them in. So I haven't landed a single gar this year. But yeah, the gar love the heat like this, Ted. I just, I can't catch him. <laughs> I'll have to try something different. You wanna put him on your hook? I might go online. And no, him? oh my goodness. Molly, did you show everyone? Yeah. Molly caught a fish and said, do you wanna put the, I guess she, you can hear her mic. <laughs> She's messing with me out here. But yeah, I'm gonna go online and see. I know they have some type of little like rope jig things. I don't know if that's something you can buy or to make, but those should work pretty good for the gar. And then, uh, you know, cut bait. I gotta figure out the right size hook and the right type because with their hard mouths and everything, it's weird. Literally 98% of the time I, I hook up with a gar, I lose it. Molly's slamming them. She's still got the size six hook on. No, I don't. Oh, what do you have? Eight? Eight. Okay. Yeah, whatever type of weird sucker fish or whatever is out there, zero, zero interest in the worms. Absolutely zero interest. And I haven't seen that bass again. I haven't seen that bass that I saw when we first got here. Before we started the live, we were trying to catch a bass that we could see. I was sight fishing it. So yeah, Molly's finding fish. I'm not finding anything. But normally we would just cast Aww. right into a tree just like that. No, we'd cast a, across the little creek over there to the wall and there'd be a ton of fish over there. there something was biting. Didn't hook up with it, of course. Ooh, gosh. Molly, I might just follow you around with the, with the camera because I'm not catching anything. <laughs> there we go, bite. Oh, dude. <laughs> Let's see, what have I got? I've gotten 60 bites and three fish out here. No, I've probably got four or five, but still. It is literally like every 20 bites I get a fish. And I'm roasted, so we are gonna have to leave here in a little bit, regardless of, oh, I had one on and my hand slipped off the reel and he came off. Yeah, regardless of my phone overheating or dying, we're gonna have to leave anyway, because I'm, I'm absolutely getting roasted out here. I have some sunscreen with me, but I'm, Honestly, I'm sick and tired of the heat, so we'll be going inside. 
It sucks on a nice summer day to be. It's not a nice summer day. Inside, <laughs> I don't know what he's talking but about. But I'm sick of the heat. I'm absolutely sick of it. Not enjoying it. <laughs> I work outside, so I told him. I'm ready for it not to be AC. summer anymore. Because it is just. I can't do this heat anymore. I don't like it. Oh. Now, some of you guys are from hotter places too. I get some Florida people in here, so they're probably like, quit your whining. But still, I hate, I hate this heat. I elected to do a nine mile run in it yesterday and everyone acted like that was crazy. And it wasn't that bad, but for some reason today, I'm not, not feeling it. Come on fish. Oh, something was biting. There we go. No! I literally set the hook and I feel weight too and then the fish just pops off, just no big deal. <laughs> I'll come check with the chat in a second. Hopefully Molly catches a couple more before this is over because I'm not catching anything. And usually casting over into those rocks, there's long ears and green sunfish and stuff. Just nothing today. I don't know what happened to all the fish in here and of the ones that are in here, they're really not very active. The ones that are somewhat active are absolutely tiny. Which I guess meant, makes sense. When it's hot or cold and the fish aren't biting that well, it's those little tiny ones that have to eat more often. The big ones have the luxury of being able to wait a little bit between eating. But yeah, I'm seeing a ton of fish out here, but they're all just, they're absolutely tiny. And I can't hook up with them. I just can't. I guess I'll come check the chat again here. At least I know my mics work somewhat. I was real happy when they worked and then I got kind of upset when everyone's like, oh, you sound like a robot, you sound like a robot. I'm like, with $340 mics, I sound like a robot? That's not supposed to happen. But Ted seems to think that an update might fix it and I'm really hoping it does. Yeah, my phone's gonna overheat any second. It's roasting out here. We're down to 35% battery. It's gonna be a race to see if my phone overheats first or if uh, the battery dies first. I don't know what's going on. I'm right by a road. It's like the cars are at a standstill. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Mike Irvin said, well, she is better looking than you. Okay, well, thanks, Mike. So she's out fishing me and she's better looking than me too. Thanks. <laughs> King, do me a favor, clip your mic to your hat. I'm thinking the interference from Mike moving. Try it for a minute. My mic to my hat. Okay. The mic is clipped to my hat. <laughs> it's a fuzzy ball right in my face. So I don't know. Someone said uh, interference from the mic moving. I don't know, maybe. Clip the mic to my hat. Those mics are awesome. It sounds like you're in front of the camera even though you are away from the camera. Yeah, and my favorite part, I think my favorite part about them is when it's just windy and the, the audio would normally be terrible. You can barely even hear it with these things. Use a small hook, offset it yourself. Oh, I'm I'm using the smallest hooks I have out here. They're size 10, I'll take this worm off and show you. The smallest hooks that I can find on me are size 10. And it ain't working. Well, I can't even get the bait off. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it that well with that worm on, but size 10 is the smallest I got out here. It's little tiny hooks. But it's all right. You know, we caught a couple fish, and these mics work minus a couple of glitchy sounds and stuff. Gar make me angry. Yeah, me too. They're annoying. Especially, I go catfishing in the, in the Kansas River, and I get these big takedowns, and I set the hook, and, and half the time, I'll reel it in a fish for five seconds, and then it comes off, and I know that it was a gar. The other half the time, I do bring them in every once in a while. Uh, there was one day I caught, like, I was catfishing, Something massive hit my rod uh, two different times that night. One time I completely broke 50 pound braid, just snapped it like instantly. And the second time, uh, I guess I didn't get a good hook set and it took my bait off completely. Um, but besides that, all we caught that day was drum and gar and I caught a ton. I mean, I caught five gars and 10 drums or something like that. And I actually brought some of both home to cook them. I know a lot of people are like, gar and drum, that's gross, but. Not bad. 
Where are you at, Kieran? I'm by uh, Nathaniel Green, the animal. It's stupid hot in Florida right now. I bet, yeah, I shouldn't complain. We've only had a, a few days that have got over 100 here, actually. Now, the real feel has got to like 110 a couple days. But, uh... Let's see. Good job on your catfish, Daniel. Hello, all. Stopping in on my break to give a thumbs up and show my support. Corn-fed experience. I can barely see the chat. But uh, I appreciate you stopping in, not catching anything. Corn-fed. Let's see what's up. I think I just caught the Been largest hooked fish up of the all day. morning, swinging materials from the building to the slab of the other half of the building. How's the progress coming along on that construction site? What's up, Frank? What's going on? Can Danny I Stone's been a member for seven months. Wow, Danny, you were one of my first members then, because I've only been, uh, I've only had memberships for seven months. So, boom, Can boom, boom, Danny Stone. I just Stone. caught the biggest fish of the day. You got a fish? The biggest fish. I think Molly caught a mega uber dink out here. <laughs> Can't even lip it, can you? Eh. Proud to be a member. Thank you so eh. much, Danny Stone. I appreciate that. Um, Dan, we are by Nathaniel Green. The the He's here. Can you say what I'm trying to say? Because I can't get words out today. Springfield Botanical Garden. We're by the Springfield Botanical Garden. <laughs> I can't get words out today. Deer Corner, what's going on? Oh, it's hot, Karen. Back I need to shade. get your glasses back to you, but glad to see you at us. No, actually. <laughs> these ones actually are the same as the ones that I left in your truck. I, I, I thought I only had one pair, but I apparently had an extra pair of them in my uh, fishing backpack. So, ah! I'm being attacked. I'm being pepper sprayed. Hope you guys had fun at the concert. Yeah, we did. It was fun. Thank you. I use He's hooks the size of my pinky it. nail for sunfish. eBay. This one's smaller than my pinky nail. I'll show you. No, I have smaller hooks at home too, but look. This hook is smaller than my pinky nail. See that? It's just, if these were normal sized sunfish, then I'd use an even bigger hook than that, but it's mega dinks. There's a beautiful long ear right here in the shallows. Um, I'm either gonna get snagged or scare them away, but I'll try to drop some bait in front of them. I gotta get a little piece of worm on. But just to let everyone know, I don't know how well you can hear me with this uh, mic on my hat. Ted told me to do it and then I don't know. But oh my goodness. I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. I I got for the first night in a, quite a while I got decent sleep last night but I've just been dumb today. Like I have no other uh, explanation for it. I've just been kind of stupid. I have a hard time getting words out. <laughs> Not my day. Okay the little freaking mosquito fish are going for it the long ear has There's zero in zero interest oh there he goes there he goes banging oh i had him and he took me into a rock luckily i got free he actually bit i have no idea how i didn't hook up with him though that's one that's just beyond me anyone under this rock here i guess not i'm gonna try for this long ear again Oh, I scared him. My bail shut halfway through my cast. All right, we'll wait for him to come back in. I'm going to try to get this long ear here. I need sunglasses, but I can't read the chat with my sunglasses. Where's the long ear? Come on back, buddy. Come over here. Come here. Stop being a scaredy cat. Gosh, man everything today <laughs> 18 people in here that's what's up walk away it sounds better bro maybe if you have them on your shirt adjust the gain they sound way better yeah i don't know how to adjust the gain or anything like that you'll have to call me after this maybe if you have them on your shirt adjust the gain they sound way better I, they sound better if i adjust the gain i'm i'm not really understanding what you're trying to say sorry Average of 95 with 100% humidity. Yeah, it's, I think it's supposed to get to upper 90s today. Apparently next week is going to be in the 100s all week, which is horrible. Whoever said offset, off, I can't, I literally can't talk today. At least just comment. You guys can read it yourself. I can't speak. I don't really know what that means, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what offset it yourself means. You just mean like so that it's not a complete rent, so it's like it's slightly to the side. I think that's what you mean. I can try it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, read Alicia's comment because I can't get words out today. It's it's actually bad. 
I'm normally a fairly well-spoken dude. I sometimes talk too fast and get ahead of myself, but today my brain is just not keeping up with my mouth. It's not working out. I'll try that. Molly has my pliers though, so I can't do it right now. Where's the pliers at? Oh, never mind. They're right here. Yeah, I'll try that. I think what you mean by offset, because I I don't know fishing terms, but I think what you mean by offset is just move it. Oh, it is. It's offset like kind of significantly, actually. I, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually as offset as you would want it already. So it's just not working. Not working out. Maybe if I had a size 12 hook, that might be a better size, but they're, the way they're biting it today is it's real finicky and they're just barely pulling on the tail of it. And I'm using really tiny pieces of worm. Right now I'm using a little bit bigger one because I'm trying to get this dang long ear. But we'll try to get a couple more fish for you guys before this live stream's over. I appreciate you tuning in. Normally in my lives, the fishing is a lot better, even if I am just fishing for little dinks like that. I honestly can't wait until... Well, not that I can't wait, but I'm honestly excited for when it gets cold, when it's trout season again. Of course, I'm snagged. I have no idea how I got snagged. Uh, when it's trout season again, because normally my trout fishing lives were bad because um, I was using StreamYard, and StreamYard really, really sucks. I hate StreamYard. And uh, the wind is always horrible at that lake. But now that I have these mics, and now that I'm going live through YouTube instead of StreamYard when I'm fishing, it should be night and day difference. Should be night and day difference. All right, well, I'm gonna catch up in the comments and I'm gonna try to get another fish or two. Molly will probably get one, I probably won't. <laughs> What's up, Kyle? Appreciate you guys. We're only gonna be live just a little bit longer. Hey, Kyle, what's up, Dark30? What's up, Native? Two, two Dan's in here. Sun glare is horrible when you're trying to stream live outside. Yeah, I can't see my phone. Like, I can almost see it when I do this. Uh, I don't get the reference, Danny Stone. I guess I've never seen the movie. <laughs> Wow, I'm way behind. Bend the hook closed a little and to the side a little. Yeah, I could close it a little more, but it is to the side a little already. What's up, Hendrickson? The mic sounds better on your hat, so that is telling me you may need to adjust the gain of your mic when it's in your shirt. It depends on where your mic is positioned, how close to your shirt. All right, I'll either look it up or you can call me because I don't know how to adjust the gain or anything like that. Not sure. I actually don't like the tiny touch screen on this uh, DJI receiver. It's absolutely tiny and it's just hard to figure out. But I'll get used to it. It's a new thing. They're not biting for you either. No, the tiny dudes kind of stopped. Tiny dudes stopped. Yeah, there's somebody down there. I think it's one of those stupid whatever fish that don't eat anything. Yeah, what, there's a bunch of fish in the bottom of here that are a lot bigger than these sunfish. They, I don't know if they're shad or what they are. Um, they don't eat anything. They literally, you could put a worm in front of them and they would they just zero interest but I guess my phone's gonna die sooner I'm getting pretty hot so we're gonna try and we probably need to get some lunch as well I haven't eaten I've taken a couple drinks of Molly's smoothie today and that's it I got a fish I think that looks like a fish Yay! Yeah, that's my goal is to catch just a couple more fish and then uh, we're gonna call it a day because my phone's about to die and it might overheat before then anyway. But this isn't quite as small as Molly's, but it's close. I got a little tiny green sunfish. The second the rod hit the water, he was on. <laughs> Look at that. I can't see, but there he is. Little tiny green sunfish. The sun is coming from this way. It would look a lot better to you guys if I could turn this around, but then you wouldn't really be able to see us, so. But look at that absolute dink right there. If there was anything in here that could eat that, I would use that as bait if I had like the right type of hook for it. But the only thing in here that would eat that, besides possibly that bass I saw earlier, would be uh, turtles. And there's a ton of turtles in here, including that big snapping turtle. And 
I actually don't want to hook up with them, believe it or not. Oh, my phone is hot. No glitching from your mic now. Okay, so it's just my shirt. Thank you, Ted. I appreciate it. See, he, he knows what he's talking about. Bend the eye of the hook back to set more to the point of hook. The eye of the hook back to set more to the point of the hook. Basically, just increase the... I can try that. We'll see. See, they're barely even biting right now, though, so that won't fix that. Oh, well, Molly keeps catching. That was bigger than my last one. <laughs> Got a little greeny. I'm struggling. Completely struggling out here. Let's see. Ah! Well, my hook broke in half and stabbed into my thumb, so I'm, I like the suggestion, guys, but I'm not going to do that. Ouch. Yeah, I don't know. That ever happened to you guys when you guys try to offset the hook yourself? Not a lot of blood. I got it out. I thought for a second that it got in me past the barb. And those tiny hooks are, they can be a nightmare sometimes. Not bad. It's a little bit of blood. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Jesus. Golly. Almost snapped my. Should we just end the live? I'm thinking we might just end it. I'm not, you want to. Nothing good's happening right now. <laughs> I got my answer somewhat on these mics We're that yes, they are comedy. working. You're catching a couple fish. I'm stabbing myself and tripping. That hurt. That hurt quite bad, actually. Yeah, I tried to do what you guys said, and it broke the hook in half and stabbed the heck out of my thumb. So, well, it may be a good idea, and it may work for you guys. I. Don't want to have to go to the hospital or have to rip a hook out of my finger today, so I'm actually not going to try that again. <laughs> but I appreciate the suggestion for sure. Now I lost my size 10 hooks. I don't know where they are. There we go. They all fell out into this bag, so now they're just loose in here. Yeah, let's try another size 10 on there. Yeah, that was actually awful. I did not feel good stabbing into my thumb like that. Alrighty. Yeah, I might have to throw these worms away. Next time I go fishing, I think I might have to get some more worms. When, I, when it's hot like this, I really even thought last night I was going to grab a, a little cooler to put my worms in, but I actually don't own ice packs. I don't own an ice pack, so I wouldn't even be able to keep the cooler cold. Oh. And I have a hard yeah. time having ice in my apartment too. There's a ducky! Yeah, the mic's way better, not a million times better. Really, that's no. crazy. Have caught shad off flies. Really, yeah, I've never caught a shad before. I didn't think they went for bait. I've seen people catch shad. I don't know what they do or how they do it. It's offset already. Sometimes I bend it back to try that too. Yeah, I'm not I'm not touching it again. That that hurt. That was awful. Go Molly. Molly having fish for dinner. Not these ones. Uh, actually, I'm having fish for dinner. We're going to a ramen and sushi place. So Molly's going to have some ramen and some shrimp tempura. And I'm going to have some sushi and some vegetable tempura. Or shrimp and vegetable tempura. Kieran, I'm staying here this weekend. Sweet, Dan. Um, I've lost a lot of my motivation to go fishing because the bite just sucks now. But if you want to, we can try to get together tomorrow or something. We can try to fish. If was there near near where you you were fishing, was there like a covered dock or something on uh, Lake Springfield? If there's a covered dock somewhere, I'll gladly sit out there with, uh, you know, I'll I'll put some worms on a rod or two, and then I'll bring like a catfish rod to fish cut bait. I've got some frozen sunfish and stuff uh, hole that we could use for cut bait, or we can catch fresh ones, which is even better. But I'm down to do some like cat fishing and uh, pan fishing and stuff out there. If we can find a covered area, because I'm I'm struggling. I do. I have a 10 by 10 shelter. I could bring and set it up on the bank somewhere. If you want to do that, we can make a whole day of it. Actually. So whatever you want to do, uh, I just know it's gonna be hot. <laughs> this live is more physical than a hockey game. Yeah, there's blood. <laughs> Who caught the most fish? You or Molly? Oh no, you can already answer that. Molly is kicking his butt. That's hilarious. My phone is on fire right now. We got 23%. So just fair warning. Probably about. 15 minute warning on this thing. 
Ramen sounds good. I can't eat. Nobody is home with me. What do you mean you can't eat? There's gotta be some food you can grab with one hand, right? All right, I'm gonna try, we got 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to at least get one or two more fish here. And Molly's probably gonna get three or four more before it's over. What do you say about last night, Dan? I fished the covered dock last night, but out on the point across from the dam. All right, yeah, let's do that if it's not taken up. Um, I don't think I can fit my 10 by 10 shelter, even fold it up. I don't think I can fit it in my car. And I'm not bringing my SUV right now because there's no power steering and it sucks. But, I mean, we can either go out there and see, or if the covered dock is taken by other people, we could always head back to my uh, apartment and you could, we could throw it in the back of your truck or something. Uh, we can make it happen though. If you want to do some fishing tomorrow, I don't think Molly's going to want to be out there too, too long in the heat. Maybe tomorrow evening and the catfish bite might be better too. I don't know. But uh, text me after this and we'll get it figured out if you want to try to make something happen. Tomorrow's Saturday. It would have to be tomorrow. It technically could be Sunday evening. We both have work early uh, on, on Monday, both of us. But it could technically be Sunday evening. Uh, it would just have to be after Molly leaves town. So just text me, man. We'll get it figured out. Landis, what's up? Are you fishing at Silver Lake or somewhere else? That's awesome, Ted. I bet it'll still be, it won't be that cold in Florida compared to PA that time of year. I'm thinking about driving up to Truman Dam tonight. Oh, really, man? Let me know how that goes. Truman Dam, people have caught monster cats out there. How much can you guys hear this construction? Because I had no idea they are going to be jackhammering 20 feet from me during this thing. Hopefully the mics cut it out a little bit. Karen, you're never going to catch a fish if you keep talking. I know. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. So that's why I'm always catching more. It's not because she's better than me. It's because I'm trying to keep up with the chat. She has no worries. She's just out here. There's a duck over there. Pulling them out, huh? There's a duck over there. Where? In the little... In the shade, area. chilling. So What's that green thing? A leaf? That is a toad. Oh, out. Why is it so light green? Mm -hmm. He's still there? Yeah. Yeah, they stopped caring pretty much. I bet the small. I bet a smaller hook than you, and I can't even get them, even when they do bite it. Bro, your neck is roasted. I know. I'm very burnt. I'm very burnt. Yay! Ha ha! I caught one, Molly. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is like perfect bait for fishing in creeks. Like not a creek like this, but a little bit bigger creek that would actually have some predators in it. Look at that. I'm scared of these hooks now after what the last one exploded. Oh, goodness. Goodness, that's why there's no fish in here. Every time someone catches one, it hits the deck. Come on, dude. Look at that. Monster. Absolute monster out here. That'll feed a family of six. Just a little green sunfish. Treasure Coast, fishing with John and Lindia that week. Is the fishing any good around that time of year? I would imagine the fishing is like turned off. Maybe for crappie or something. Oh, that snapping turtle. I don't know if he's yawning or what. He just opened his mouth wide. Yeah, I saw him do that a couple times. Scary. <laughs> hey Molly, I caught a fish out of there and you can't catch one, huh? -huh. Congrats. I know. It's okay, don't be jealous of me just because I'm so much better than you at catching fish. You are. <laughs> You're so much better. My smoothie's probably so hot. It's not a smoothie anymore. It's just like put a fridge. liquid. It's like a banana and peanut butter drink at this point. Ew. Did you bring water? Yes, there's a water in my bag the outside pocket it's probably it's probably very hot oh I got a dink guys I got a dink I'm gonna catch up to Molly before this thing's over look at this guy I'm telling you that is the size of the fish out here right now which is nuts 
I don't know what happened to this place. It had been it had been a couple months since I've been here. Look at that oh, absolute man. dink well, of a bluegill. Well, we want some drinking now because I almost drank all of it. I'll take one more. Oh no, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. It's awful. I wasn't hooked. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I was hooked, but it's just the magnet on there. I didn't want to pull. Oh, you meant the water. I want the rest, but I'll let you have it. You're done drinking it? Don't put it away. If you're done with it, I'll take the rest. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap it up pretty soon. We got 19% battery. Let's each catch one more fish and then call it a day. All right, Molly? Okay. Mission, we're each going to catch one more fish. I appreciate you guys hanging out even though the fishing sucks. Good thing my mics work. I'm going to do that update and hopefully it makes it better. Um, if I'm going to have it on my on my chest, I'll adjust the gain or whatever Ted was talking about. I'll figure that out. Um, other than that, I can keep it on my hat. I don't like this. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, big puff ball right in my line of vision. So maybe it's better off to the side. I can still see it. I know I look ridiculous. But I look ridiculous without a mic on my head, either way, so. Yeah, I don't think it makes much of a difference. The battery's lasting pretty good on these things. I didn't even charge them fully. I woke up this morning and I was like, dang it, I forgot to charge them. They're still going strong. You're still catching crappie, Landon, at Silver Lake? What? That's mind-blowing. That's mind-blowing to me. You catching them the same way? Just throwing out little uh, like jigs and beetle spins and stuff from the bank? Man, I need to get back out there. Uh, next weekend, I'll probably be in town. I'm going to get back out there and throw some jigs then. I didn't realize you'd still be catching. I thought you would have to go out in a kayak to catch crappie. I thought they'd be a lot deeper right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. I stopped fishing for them because I figured they wouldn't be doing their thing. With it being this hot, I thought they'd be a lot deeper out, farther from the bank. Oh no, that fish felt a little better too. Dang it. Dang it, guys. All right, Molly, it's a race. I don't like races. We're going to try to catch one more fish each, and then we're going to end this live. I'm going to try to catch one faster than Molly. It's a competitive thing now. I don't like competitions. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, no, I'm roasted. I'm My neck is very burnt. I can feel it. Dang it, I had a fish on there again. What the heck? Oh, I thought you had one. Made me nervous. Yeah, I'm very, very sunburnt. I don't do well in this heat. Oh, no! It's covered in algae every time. The algae is atrocious out here, isn't it? It's really bad. It's Ducky! A lot of algae. There's a duck! Come on, fish. Come on, fish. I'll try a couple more casts out there, and maybe I'll go back to that corner and drop down, because I, I got one out pretty quick last time I did that. The problem is, every single time I pull it out, I've got to clean the algae off. It's just, it's real gross out here. Algae's really nasty. Molly, even that spillway, which is so weird, I was fishing there the other day, and there's a ton of algae. It was gross. I don't know what the deal was. That long ear's still over here. Nice looking fish. Not a big one or anything. The long ears don't even get big, but... It'd be cool to catch this guy. He's has he's not no interest though. Literally no interest. Yeah, now he swam away. Oh. No, he got zero interest I in my you. worm. You know what type of duck that is, Molly? What kind of duck, Karen? What type of duck is it? I don't know. It's a female mallard duck. You see that purplish blue stripe on its side under its wing? I know it's a girl, yeah. Huh? Yeah.
right there, that bluish, the white border on it. I can't, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm quitting the shade. All right guys, we're gonna try to, get, try to get one more each. And then I've gotta get inside, I'm roasting, roasting up. We're gonna get inside and get some lunch. What do you want, French? have you thought about it anymore? You don't want like a grilled cheese or anything? All right, I'll, I'll get you something. If you need to go somewhere for lunch, because nothing sounds good, we can do that. I'm wet, I don't wanna go somewhere. I don't know, that's whatever you want, basically. I'm fine with just finding some at the apartment, but. If nothing there is gonna be good to you, then we can go grab something. You want a Chick-fil-A sandwich? Are you just in a mood where nothing sounds good? Okay. We can head in if you want. Give me a sign. You wanna head in? You wanna call it? Whatever you want to. I'm gonna try to get one more fish and then we'll call it. I see a couple over there. Of course, my bait goes straight past them right down into the algae. And now they can't see it at all. I don't get how there's just so much algae out here. It's bad. It's real bad. Oh, I had one, man. He came off. He came off, dang it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy was aggressive. I thought for sure I had him. He came out of nowhere and slammed it. Just as soon as he had the entire hook and bait in his mouth, he was he just gone. Fast, he fast traveled. Dang, man. Teleported out of there. I'm half tempted to put... I know it sounds counterproductive. I'm half tempted to put a bigger worm on it and try to attract some of these larger fish and see if they'll take the whole thing. not just not biting today it's crazy that is crazy for some of the, those numbers tournaments i was fishing the last weekend i actually if i would have been in town i would have considered fishing here because normally this spot's really good i'm really glad i didn't do that because there is the bite is non-existent here at this spot imagine seeing like The heck was that? Mm -hmm. I gotta go check that out. What the heck was that? Something jumped out of the water over here. What the heck was it? Something blew up out of the water on like a dragonfly. But it's like five inches of water. And there's nothing in there that could have done, I don't know, that was weird. It wasn't a golf ball hitting. <laughs> All right, I'll, get, I'll check with the chat and say I'm gonna put a put a rod out there with just a little bit of worm on it and see what you guys are saying. Oh, I wish I had a way to check the chat while I kind of walked around, but I don't. Which is one of the reasons I don't do bass fishing lives, because when I bass fish, I walk all around the bank, and I would not be able to keep up with the chat at all, literally at all. All right. All right, we'll leave that wherever I can actually lean it without it falling. Okay, let's get it just slightly tighter. Okay, it looks like it's snagged. I hope, I hope it's not. All right, what am I missing? Silver Lake, we just got back. That's crazy. My phone is so hot. The mics are cutting it out pretty good. That's awesome. 
Oh, I'm way behind. Catching almost every cast? Are you serious? For a crappie from the bank? Dude, why am I not there right now? I was catching crappie last weekend with small jigs. That's all I use for crappie is jigs. That's all I ever use for crappie. That's crazy, dude. Arby's or Popeye's for lunch? That's what Dan said. I don't think... I don't think Molly likes Arby's at all, and I refuse to go to Popeye's because... I love fried chicken, and I'm trying to lose weight, and I can't control myself around chicken. The worst for me is wings, though. I refuse to go anywhere for wings right now. I am an animal when it comes to wings. Hey, Dubois, man, is there anything in the overpass? That is less than an inch of water right there. The second that, I, I know what you mean, because that looks like an amazing spot. Um, if it was like this, I'm sure there'd be a ton of fish in there. Right where that, where that, uh, starts there's a concrete slab coming up from the bottom and it is the surface there's you can't there's nothing in there it's it's maybe a quarter inch of water arby's beef and cheddar or that one that has brisket on it forget the name hey i'm getting out i'm going live later i'll see you king call me when you have time see you molly and everyone later ted say bye to ted bye ted you guys can still hear molly right McDonald's does have some dry biscuits. <laughs> Screw McDonald's biscuits. That's so funny. The Vista Burger. I don't know what that is. I want to see a doctor about that. Wait, about what? What did I say? I fished the zoo pond once and they kicked me out. Yeah, you're, there's actually, there's probably a lot more fish on the other side of this thing and the, and the little, there's a little spillway there coming off of a lake. You can't fish the lake or the spillway in the park, which is super annoying. Mike is a little garbled again. Awesome, good to hear. Good to hear. Try clipping the mic to the collar of the shirt. That's that's where, it sounded way worse when it was on the collar of the shirt. That's why I switched to the hat. I started with it on the collar of the shirt. Everyone said that it sounded bad. Panda Express. Think over stink, what's going on? We're about to end this thing. I'm gonna try to get, Dan said, let's go get wings. Don't tempt me, Dan. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to catch one more fish. We only have, uh, we're down to 10% battery. You think we should just wrap it up, Molly? I'm down. Okay, I think we may just wrap it up without catching one more fish because I'm hot, we both need food, and my phone's going to die literally any second anyway, so I'd rather be able to say goodbye and shut the live down rather than my phone dying and the live still being up or something. But, okay. So, you got any words for the people, Molly? Stay in the AC. <laughs> she says stay in the AC. Someone's having fun in there. Um, yeah, the mics work, that's great. I'm gonna get an update for them, hopefully they're even better. Um, I'm glad they work. I'm a little pissed off, honestly, that, it, that I'm getting feedback like the mics are garbled and I sound like a robot because these are $340 microphones and they shouldn't have those issues, so. I'm gonna talk to Ted about the gain, whatever the heck that is. I'm gonna talk, or I'm gonna get that update. We'll try it again, do another uh, thing soon. Dan, text me, we'll figure something out. We're not getting wings though. <laughs> but uh, you guys have a good one. We caught some fish. Molly outfished me like always. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Glad the mics work somewhat. I know I look ridiculous with this in my forehead. In your shoe. I'll get something figured out. Yes, I do have a fish hook in my shoe with line attached to it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's been cool. Hopefully next time we go live, we'll catch some more fish. I'm glad I got these DJI mics, but I'm actually t done with the summer already. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm a ginger. I'm pale skinned. I get burnt really easy. Did you show them? It's hot. We don't need to do all Turn that. Turn around. We don't need to do all that. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm a redneck right now. You're, he's <laughs> roasted. I'm like roasted. he's like I need a to get tomato. Inside. Enjoyed the live. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. What's up, hog deer? Thanks for coming in. Do I look like a librarian or an old person with these on the end of my nose yeah. like that? And then I just look dumb with this ball yeah. the dead cat <laughs> anyway red, you could be like rudolph no <laughs> or a clown i already am a clown yeah all right y'all catch you guys later thanks for hanging out um it's been fun well i don't know i'll be live next tuesday for sure i've got a video coming out monday trout fishing from a time when it was actually cold out last november um yeah it's been fun i'll catch you guys next time
Fishing's good. Fishing's good. There we go. You heard it from her. <laughs> Sunfish king. And queen. And queen. Out of here. Later, y'all. Bye-bye. I gotta figure out how to turn this thing off. <laughs>